Hey, what's up? I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today we'll be talking about three new updates for Adobe After Effects 2017 Spring Edition. they finally implemented Lumetri scopes in Adobe After Effects. They already had it in Premiere because you would do your color grading, your color correction in Adobe Premiere. They finally released it for After Effects as well. For me that's a really big deal because I really like to have the option to do my color grading and my color correction in After Effects when I need to for smaller projects or when I'm trying to match kind of shots with visual effects. It's really helpful to have Lumetri scopes and for those that don't know what Lumetri scopes are I would definitely encourage you to look it up because this is really going to improve your color grading game. So it allows you to see your highlights and your shadows correctly, the colors, uh, it's all like a lot of detailed information. Lumetri scopes really help to narrow down the color correction process for your footage. So for me it's really interesting to match up some VFX shots in compositing. I can really match the colors perfectly using Lumetri scopes and stuff like that. So, or if I'm working on smaller projects, you can just use the Lumetri scopes in there. All right, so the second update is the de-blur function for shaky footage. Imagine that you have been filming something with your camera, you're walking and all of a sudden you have a jerk in your camera. You're going to have that blur as well in your camera. And then you're going to apply a work stabilizer to save your footage to really make it smooth. And it's going to work, it's going to be very smooth uh, and you're going to be happy and you're going to be watching your video. You say, oh damn, that's a lot of blur in there. And you see this all the time, like people using warp stabilizer in their videos and all of a sudden you have these blur uh, like inconsistencies in your video. And that's because of the shutter speed of your camera. When you're trying, when you're shaking, you can easily resolve that with the warp stabilizer as it's looking at all these dots, but it can't really fix your shutter speed that isn't fast enough. Uh, so in this case, this plugin would come in to fix that, to help that. I'm not sure if it's going to do a perfect job. It really depends on how much blur you have, I suppose. But it's also really, really damn slow. So it's not something that I want to use very often. So if you have the option, really take your time to get your shot as smooth as possible outside. Use a gimbal if you don't have a camera with intern uh, access stabilization, which I have on my GH5. I'm going to be doing a review soon. It's a really great camera. If you can't shoot smooth, um, yeah, this is really a last resort option for people that shot something they can't return back to and they still want to save that shot, removing a little bit of that blur, you can use that with this plugin. It's going to take hell of a lot of time because like I'm using a pretty good machine and it's taking a few seconds each frame. So uh, for me, that's too long for, for the thing it's doing. So, um, but yeah, it's there. So, you know, you have the option if you need to. All right. So now the third and last update they released and certainly, certainly not the least, it's one of my favorite updates of actually a pretty long time. It's a pretty, pretty cool update um, because you can actually use a new function that works together with Premiere and After Effects. So it's called the Essential Graphics. It's a new tab that you can open up, a new window that you can open up in Adobe After Effects where you can actually add all of your settings and stuff from a complete project and then you can just easily change all these settings that you want to. You decide which setting you want, you want to enter there and then you can just change all the settings in one window without having the need to jump in each composition individually to change the background color, change the text. So uh, you can just set it up really easily, open up the essential graphics, select the composition you want to be editing, and then you can drag in all the values of each effect that you're using. Even for effects that are actually plugins for After Effects, you can drag the values in there as well. The only thing that they can't allow you to do right now is the position anchor and stuff like that. So if you want to see what options are available, you can click on that button and it's going to show you only the, the effects that you can actually drag in there. So all the effects you actually made uh, and then you can just drag them in there very easily. You can also rename them because if you're going to share that project later on with someone else uh, and you have like something of a value from a random effect, it's just going to say like value. You can change that value from and um, yeah, just give a little bit more information for the people that might want to use it later on, which is also pretty interesting. You can drag in fills so you can change backgrounds in there. You can change the source text from files and you can even jump into compositions within compositions and drag all the information of the effects in there 
in that same essential window so you can just from one one window you can change a lot of settings from compositions within compositions within compositions and yeah you, you can um, basically uh, do an endless composition section yeah all right, that's pretty cool, but that's not everything. You can actually save it really easily. And once you have saved that essential graphic, you can open up Premiere and they also release that exact same update where you can open up the essential graphics tab and then you can import that. So you can just browse to that file, import that as an essential graphic. So it's like a new kind of model and then you can easily change everything in there. So boom, you have your After Effects project in Adobe Premiere Pro for people that don't have After Effects or don't know how to use After Effects and they want to change it text the cores and stuff like that and you can prepare that for them and then they can use it very easily so really really cool definitely check it out and because we think it's such a cool update we're going to update all of our After Effects project files that we currently have on our website we're going to update them to the essential graphics term so you can import that in Premiere without a problem you can easily change them so that's going to be really cool if you're interested in that definitely check out our website and stay tuned it's not done yet we still have to get started on converting all of them but we will have a new section with essential graphics so if you want essential graphics head off to our website and check them out so I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more I'll see you in the next one and goodbye